Join me as we test out nine of the most viral sleep help products that are out there. Many of these products have been viral all over the internet. But luckily I was able to buy all of them from Amazon and interestingly enough these were actually recommended also by Amazon. Not sponsored, not affiliated. But we're going to be trying everything from projectors to plushies and yes even a drink that is readily available. As someone who actually has insomnia and sometimes only gets maybe two hours of sleep a night, I feel like I'm one of the best people to test these products out because I'm usually unchangeable. My sleep pattern has been exactly the same since I was 14 years old. Probably you can tell because I have bags on my eyes. Do raccoon eyes. Look at that. Under my eyes are just gray. There's a reason why I have a channel called Raging Raccoon Gaming because I'm a raccoon. <laughs> I'm also curious to know, what are some of your sleep tips? Let me know in the comment section below because I will be reading them and maybe I'll try them in the video or something. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. And you can join us during live streams. By the way, before we continue, do you grains want to go on an interdimensional adventure? Explore mysterious castles, flow down rivers of hot lava, and maybe even collect some cool prizes? The answer is obviously yes. Which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Two Dots. For those of you who don't know Two Dots, it is a connect the dots type puzzle game that lets you travel through different gorgeous worlds. Despite the fact that this game has a beautifully minimalistic design, super catchy music, just listen to this vibe of music, The game is absolutely fun and challenging, but not frustrating. With over 115 million downloads globally, this game is free to download both on iOS and Android. And when you change different worlds in the game, you get different challenges and how you need to connect the dots to make things more fun. And if you ever need a break from that, oh my goodness, the scavenger hunts are absolutely so fun to play. I found myself relaxing with Pat at the end of a long day, trying to do these tiny scavenger hunts. And the art in these scavenger hunts are just gorgeous. I know you grains will appreciate it. And in addition to the weekly events like the scavenger hunt, where you have to find hidden items on the map, we also have a treasure hunt, where you need to complete seven different levels to unlock unique rewards. So what are you waiting for? Here's a QR code just for you to check out, as well as the link in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment to download two dots today. Remember that supporting our sponsor also supports the channel. Thank you two dots for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And the first thing we're going to be checking out is the jellyfish aquarium that has different kinds of sounds. And this one has a rating of 4.2 stars at well over 767 reviews. And let's see what it says here. It's called jellyfish lava lamp Bluetooth speaker. Why is it so noisy out there? Are they done? Okay. And what really caught my attention is how absolutely gorgeous this tank is. And it does seem to have its own RGB lights and controller, which is super convenient. And here we can see it has seven colors with different modes. So let's zoom in here and it has RGB breathing gradient. Now I have no idea what that means or if it's just a gradient that moves or is it something that helps you regulate your breathing in terms of timing? Because yes, that's a product and we're going to be looking at that later. It has rhythm of the music, which I have no idea what that means auto changing colors and then we have static color mode which I guess is fine and we can see that it is used in nighttime and again it looks like you can be sleeping with built-in three natural soothing sounds whether it be gentle waves running water or piano sometimes these built-in sounds can be pretty obnoxious so I'm curious how relaxing is it actually and we have three water flow speeds that can control the jellyfish actual speed pretty cool and technically the motor should be noiseless again the keyword here is noiseless and it's an anti-leak system sure okay now this is not a cheap product coming in at around 66 Canadian dollars so in terms of a sleep product it is kind of premium but I guess it does double as a decoration piece so if you have cats uh, maybe they'll watch it we'll do a test with my own cats later but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's see what we get inside glance I thought the remote control would actually be low quality because it looks low quality but the feel of it is pretty sturdy so that's a good thing and here we have the different options and the different colors oh my goodness we're gonna have to find out what these are we get a cable and a couple of batteries and here is the tank let's see what this looks like okay they are way smaller than I expected down here are going to be our jellyfish 
And we do have the manual, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these together, including the water. So here it is, but we can't actually move on because there are some things we need to do first, like add a few drops of dish soap. And then when we put the jellyfish, we're supposed to stir them around to remove any kind of air pockets that would actually make them float weird. So I wanted to do that with you grades. But something to note is that the wire they give us for this is really short. And of course it doesn't come with any kind of plug. It is a USB-C type. So you might have to keep that in mind when you're plugging it in. All right, so we're gonna open you up, bring you closer, and we're going to go ahead and add the dish soap. Soap. So we're just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, does it say six? Five to eight. So here it says five to eight drops. Seven. We we'll just go ahead and put eight. And eight. It's kind of a small drop, but we did go eight. Let's just put one for lols. Not sure if it makes a difference. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And now we have our jellyfish. So let's take a look at them. They are extremely, extremely delicate silicon. Silicone? Silicone. We have a yellow one. I'm gonna plop you in. <laughs> okay, they, they can be tangled. Oh no, I never thought of that. We have pink. I'm gonna put you in maybe upside down a little. And then we have blue. So we're gonna put that in. And now with the help of the Scoopy, we're supposed to try and make sure to remove any kind of air pockets that they could have. Okay, look at them go. You know what, we're just gonna stir them. <laughs> Delicious jellyfish stew. <laughs> A few minutes later. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and press the on button. Hopefully it's not gonna turn on automatically. Look, it's on. Okay. I found Bluetooth devices ready. Okay, this is supposed to be noiseless. Let's give it a few seconds and see what's going on here. And now we should be able to do the water flow speed. So right now I'm guessing it's nothing. So I'm turning it on. Hello? This is not working. Why are my jellyfish on top? Okay, let me try to swirl them again. All right, jellyfish, y'all need to go down. And why did they gain more air pockets? What are y'all doing with air pockets? Okay, let's, let's do this again. Get rid of whatever air pockets you have. This should work. Okay, one of them is moving. I'm gonna keep stirring them until we get some kind of other movement going on. Give me a second. All right, so I shook the jellyfish and it seems to have worked. You really have to make sure there's no air pockets anywhere. They're kind of dancing, going up and down. It does look pretty cute, but it is really loud. Let's hear the ocean wave. And birds. This is not noiseless. Let's try a water bubble sound. Yeah, let's try piano. You know what, that's not bad. Okay, now I don't know if this is copyright, so we're gonna stop that. And then we have colorful breathing gradient, which I don't know what that means, but I think this is now the perfect time to turn the lights off. So interestingly enough, listen to that. The sound is almost gone, compared to before, which sounded like this. Now it sounds like that. So I guess maybe the motor just needed to calm down a little bit because it is definitely way more quiet and a lot more bearable. So let's go ahead and see the colors that we have. So the first one here is red. Oh my goodness, look at them go. Next color we have is green. This one actually displays the colors on the tentacles, I guess. Next we have blue, a very nice classic aquarium color. This one is a purplish. Next we have, I guess this is supposed to be yellow. It does lean a little towards the green one. And then we have a darker blue. Okay, there we go, now they're dancing. I'm really loving the fact that they're moving up and down. It is very bubbly in there. And with the amount of sound that's coming from the actual motor, this is way better. But we also have different light effects. So this one seems to be a transition from one color to the next. Again, these are not moving as I want them to be. Here we go. So the transition is very smooth, it's not invasive, it's not strobe -y, but there are strobe type effects and I'm going to be pressing it now so please close your eyes for the next few seconds if you have any issues with strobing type lights. And there you go, it is moving. It is, the colors are changing way faster and a lot less smooth and then I think there's a more intense one which I'm going to press right now. Yeah, that is a no thank you. But hey, if there's a big plus side to this is my cat, Splinter, was actually pretty into it. He's loving it. I just put it outside and on the floor since it is pretty heavy for him to play around and just watch it as a kind of stimulation. And with the sound change, now I can see how this is pretty relaxing. But again, it is pretty frustrating that these little jellyfish are getting stuck at the top very frequently. So personally for me, I think I'm going to give these a rating of five on 10 for sleep help. Although maybe I'll bump it up to six 
6 on 10 because you can add your own Bluetooth music to it. But as a cat toy, I'll probably also give it a 7 on 10. I personally prefer when things are a little bit more quiet, which is why I'm curious about a plushie that's going to help you breathe to fall asleep. And coming in at $40, we have Mindfulness Puppy. So apparently this is a guided breathing meditation type tool for sleep help. And it is called a three-in-one device with nightlight and noise machine for people with ADHD or anxiety, stress relief, sleep. And it's a breathing light, nightlight, and noise machine. And it is called Ultimate Three-in-One Relaxation Solution. And it over here, okay, we get different colors that the puppy can be. We have green. Oh, so that's your Q. Inhale for four, hold for seven, exhale for eight. That is a lot of holding. I guess it's a lung exercise here. It's called the legendary four, seven, eight breathing method. I didn't know it was legendary. I need to brush up on my legends. And then they have seven expertly crafted white noise sounds and then seven colors of light and we can change the volume. That's good to know. And it's rechargeable. That's even better. And at a rating of 4.7, this should definitely be good, right? I mean, the first one was a little misleading though. But let's go ahead and discover what's in here because I mean, it's got a good rating. It should help us fall asleep. Oh wow, that is light. And here is our puppy made out of silicone. I did not expect that. <laughs> Why is this entertaining? Okay, it did say it was for ADHD, but I didn't expect it to be a fidget toy. I'm gonna stop now. We also get some kind of instructional, I guess, papers, which I'm going to read. And we have the wire in order to charge it. And it seems like it is a micro USB. Question is, does it come with a charge? Press on. Okay, it does come with a charge. And the annoying thing about this is you actually have to start pressing the buttons at the bottom of it instead of having a remote control that you can use from wherever you're sleeping. And there are three light modes. So let's see. There we go. We're gonna just turn some of the lights off so that we can actually enjoy the lighting over here. And we can press the light mode. Where do, here, I'm guessing? No, that is ocean. Water? What the shrimp? Drips? In a cave? Is That's what it sounds like. Okay. Crickets. This one I like. Let's hear that. This would definitely help me fall asleep. And then we have birds, which should be the opposite of falling asleep, right? We should be waking up the birds. Okay, so that's done. And then here we should be able to change the light modes. Oh, I just, I think I just turned off. Hang on, now it's blue. And then it goes from blue to purple, which I don't remember what it was. Now I need to look for it. And then it's red. Gosh, now we have to look for it. See, that's the annoying part. They need a controller in order for me to know what am I supposed to do? And I'm gonna turn the lights completely off for you to enjoy what it looks like with the lights turned off. Here's what it is. I mean, it's cute with the lights turned off. So let's try that again. All right, so this is green for inhale for four seconds. Now you hold your breath for seven seconds. So this is your is lasting seven whole seconds, and then blue exhale for eight seconds. So now let's go ahead, take it to bed, and see how quickly I start getting drowsy and wanting to fall asleep with breathing exercises. All right, so here it is on my dresser, and we're gonna go ahead and do some of the breathing, and I will be back in a few minutes to see if it's helped me relax a bit. Good morning, so from the dog, I'm gonna say it did work but that's because I was focused on something, but the sleep itself, same as usual. And so what is my rating for the puppy sleep breathing helper? The fact that this already comes charged and you can use it right away, I have to say I really do like it. Breathing exercises have always helped me get drowsy or fall asleep, at least for a few minutes. Staying asleep and falling asleep are two different art forms. <laughs> So yeah, despite the fact that it doesn't have a controller, I'm going to give this helper probably a 7.8 on 10. But also if you haven't yet heard, I do have my very own craft kit of acrylic pour art. Not just any art, bears. But Jackie, bears? Yes, this box is called Figure It Out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And in this kit, you're going to be getting tiny bears. As you can see here, where Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both play around with the kit. And with these tiny bears, you can either customize it right away with your very own air dry clay in the kit, or you can skip customizing and go straight into bear 
decor art. In this kit, you'll get everything you need, literally everything from the cup divider where you can put up to five colors, pre-mixed paint, a custom one-of-a-kind drying rack that we had made specifically for this kit, detail brushes, sanding stick, glue, miniature canvases to avoid paint waste, all the way to the little mat that you can put on your desk to avoid messing your own space. Did I mention you get sticker packs too? And in these sticker packs, you have nine to collect and one holographic, but there's also a golden ticket. And if you find the golden ticket, I will leave the prize that you can get down below, which also includes you choosing my next vlog. But be sure to hurry because right now we have an amazing deal for 15% off until March 15 with the code BEARBEAR15. So check the link down below and get yours before March 15. Next! Oh my goodness! I'm trying not to smash it on the desk, but I'm actually really excited about this one because I have my own project working in the background about something exactly like this, and you can see on the box, it is indeed a weighted plush. And this one specifically is a fox weighted plushie. For those of you who've never heard, weighted plushies are actually have been around for quite some time, and they do help with anxiety and also just generally giving you comfort to feel like you're actually holding something that is real, and it just, it feels good. It's kind of like a weighted blanket, but a plushie. And coming in at about $43, it's not the most expensive plushie I've seen. And this one is 4.2 pounds. Here it is converted into kilograms. And from the series, you can get a fox, elephant, koala for my astralograins, astralograins, a lion, and I guess a deer. And here it looks like we have plastic weighted particles for reducing pressure. Now, I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out together. So it's going to be very important for me to know if it is actually soft or if it's grainy. Is it easy to hug? Can you fall asleep with it? Because I fall asleep with my cat in my arms and that really does bring me a lot of comfort. So I'm curious if this is going to be the equivalent of holding or hugging something. And the rating for this one is 4.5 stars pretty good. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm not going to lift it while I'm opening it because it is pretty heavy and I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, we need to open here like so. Now I know that some of y'all say that my videos help you fall asleep. That is great. I'm glad I could be a source of slip it up. That is a compliment because you feel safe around me. I will take that. <laughs> All right, let's see our little fox friend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is shrunketh wrapeth. Shrink wrap. Is there anything else? No. All right, so let's bring some air into our fox. Don't want to pierce it, so we're just gonna do this. Are we gonna get some oxygen sounds? No, no, no oxygen sounds. Let's check you out. Oh wow, that is way bigger than I expected. They made this seem way smaller, but hang on, let me bring it. There's the fox. Look at it, it is, oh. That is a good weight. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, this is this is fantastic. It has a nice weight to it. Feels like a kitty cat. Hello, fox. <laughs> oh, wow. The weight of this really does bring a little bit of that hug type pressure and it just feels nice. I love you. <gasps> I love this and it's pretty soft. There are some weights in the feet so I can feel some of the pellets in here some of the pellets in the arms. So even if you hold it like this, the arms feel like they are indeed wrapped around you. Why am I holding you like my cats? The ears don't have any kind of weights. The face is a little crumply at this time. My goodness, you are adorable. I am in love with this. You're coming to bed with me right now. The next day. I have to say, this fox plush, definitely it, definitely it. The weight of it is like a weighted blanket. I love it. And with that said, this plushie has won my heart over. Did it help me fall asleep? Probably not, but did it reduce any kind of stress or anxiety, I would have to say yes. It just feels like a warm hug. So I'm going to give this a solid eight and a half on 10, because for those of you who have any kind of tension before bed, this is definitely pretty helpful, or I would consider it helpful. Again, these are not sponsored, not affiliated, and I am not a doctor. You buy things if you want, I am just a reviewer. <laughs> and then we have this viral product. I've seen this on TikTok, I've seen this on Facebook, I've seen this on Instagram, I've seen this advertised everywhere. And it really doesn't look like much. The box itself just shows us that it's a pill kind of thing. And here it says, we have relax mode, exciting mode, microcurrent 
physics, USB rechargeable, long standby, and portable. Now, what is it? It's called a chill pill. And the ratings itself are absolutely terrible at 3.1 stars. And it's supposed to be a handheld device that you're supposed to just hold and it's supposed to help you fall asleep. Not sure how. And it's supposed to be strength adjustable. I don't know if it's a vibrator. Get your minds out of the gutter. Not that kind of vibrator. It's not this kind of channel, okay? I'm just reviewing innocent things and if your mind goes into the gutter, it is not up to me. I'm not responsible for your thoughts. But here's a picture of what it is and it looks like someone is frustrated and it's right there. And it says, effectively improves the secretion of various neurotransmitters in the body. Okay, and it says it's an easy solution to sleep problems. This is going to be interesting because we're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. Well, one of the other nights. Now, don't worry, I am not compounding any of the sleep methods to help me fall asleep. And that's all we're getting. We really don't have enough information and it is not a cheap device. For $34 for the orange one, apparently color makes it cheaper for some reason. And here you'll see, it says specifically, anxiety relief, electric, easy to carry, sleep instrument. And it says it takes about 20 minutes to make you feel more relaxed. And it has the ability to relieve migraines. So let's see what's inside, which is probably just a device. Are you supposed to be open? There you go. Very cute and premium looking, and it definitely doesn't look like what I think it is, but we'll, we'll explore that. And the inside over here seems to have its own charger. And this one is again, a micro USB and its own instruction manual. So according to the instructions over here, feel free to pause if you want right here. Low frequency is made for stress relief and sleep and you're supposed to keep it on your left hand. And high frequency is for excitement. So you can use this for meetings or whatever you need to do during the day. And you're supposed to put the high frequency in your right hand. I don't know the science behind it, but apparently that's what you're supposed to do. And it says people with insomnia like me are supposed to hold it for 20 minutes in your left hand in order to help you fall asleep. So let's go ahead and press the button. So let's turn it on. Are you on? I think it's on. So I'm going to Oh, this is not a button. I thought this was a button. That is that is misleading. I thought this was a button. I'm here pressing it like a dumby. <laughs> okay, let's let's see if I turn I don't know if I turned it on. Maybe it doesn't have a charge. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it the charge. All right, so here we go. It's been charging for about 20-ish minutes just to get first impressions. And when I take it to bed tonight, it'll have been charging for a while. Goodness, don't take me out of context. I will bring it to my it I shall bed it tonight. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and press the on button. I feel like this might be a long press. Yes, it is a long press. Okay, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna put it in my hand. Okay, oh, I just got goosebumps. Oh, now how do I describe this? Static, static electricity, that's what it feels like. So this isn't a button, but this is a transmitter. I don't even know, am I on high frequency or low frequency? I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm gonna hold it in my hand. I don't feel anything. I kind of feel like tiny tickles in the palm of my hand. Like when your fingers go numb, that's exactly the feeling I'm getting. Let me put it at a little bit of a higher frequency. This is weird. It's definitely pulsating like static energy into the palm of my hand. I don't know how I feel about it. It's getting faster. Hang on, I'm gonna bring it a little lower. One lower. I don't feel it. You know what? Let's put it at max. <laughs> There's no, okay, that is max. How does that feel? What? What? my god that was like an electric shock what the shrimp nope 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 no nope that is way too high okay now i know what the high setting feels like so we're gonna bring this down all the way low until this light okay so this light doesn't blink anymore we're gonna put it one up this is what we're gonna use why am i so nervous now this is what we're gonna use see if it helps me fall asleep to bed we go hey grains so here's your splinter and I do have nighttime. I have this. I'm gonna put it in my hand and oh my gosh, Splinter, give me a second child. <laughs> I'll be back in 20 minutes. I'm gonna keep this in my hand and we'll be back. Eventually. So here we are back 20 minutes later. I don't know why. It's on the lowest setting. I'm feeling more energetic. It's not doing its job. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna say this thing is just not cutting it out. Not working for me. 
it's doing something, just not sleep. There's a reason why it got a low rating on Amazon. And now on to yet another plushie. Now I'm a huge believer that anything that will help you fall asleep should not have the label for baby, but then again, maybe it's labeled as that because there are softer parts, which is totally okay, but adults can use it too. And this here says that it has a soft light and star projector, but it also has 15 soothing sounds which include 11 lullabies and three white noise sounds. Shusher sound? I don't know what a shusher sound is. And at $44, this one has a 4.6 ratings at 563 reviews. It doesn't seem like it's a bad thing and it actually looks really soft. Again, we did see the fox. That was really fun to hold and just hug. But my biggest worry is this one is just ornamental. So you might not even be able to hug it. You just kind of have to leave it on a desk or something. Oh, okay. It looks like we do have a heartbeat sound. That is soothing and then shushed sound white noise lullabies and birds singing we have the star projector again i'm not expecting anything to be realistic but we'll see how that one looks and there's a timer and it has a velcro fastener that's not too bad so let's go ahead sounds choosing okay we're gonna have to long press to loop it loops interesting okay let's check this baby out Here's what our plushie looks like. What? Okay, there's the foot. We got the bunny. Here's the bunny's face. And they did include also batteries and a tiny screwdriver. <laughs> I haven't seen that before, but I do appreciate it. And then we have the instruction manual and please leave a review kind of paper. So let's put the batteries. It feels like a surgical procedure to get that battery in there, but my guess, since I don't see anything else, yes. So we have to open the backing over here, which is pretty safe. I mean, obviously you don't want the battery to be somewhere where it can come right off. I'm an adult. I can put a battery in. <laughs> what? I'm an adult. I can put a battery in. <laughs> and there we go. We're all set. Right, back into the belly of Iron Man. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay, that is white noise. And then here we can change the sound. Oh my goodness, lullaby one. Oh, that's the shushing sound. It's kind of a wave. Next, heartbeat. Why did I just get goosebumps? Okay, I would have loved, hang on. Let's stop that sound. I would have loved if the heartbeat plushie actually made some heartbeat kind of pulsing, but there's nothing here. Okay, not bad. I kind of like this. More? Okay. Nope. Nope. Birds. These are really high pitched. They're actually hurting my ears. And now we just have birds. Again, I don't understand birds because I feel like birds are something you wake up to as opposed to fall asleep to. Water. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the projectors. So we're gonna turn the lights off and see what that actually looks like. So here's this. Um, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed at the projection level. It's way blurrier than I expected it to be. Very, very blur. It's way too invasive. I don't like this. By the way, the bird sound effect was coming from this. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it sounds like morning. I'm gonna have to say I did put this next to my bed and I didn't find it actually helped at all. If anything, the music was extremely obnoxious that I decided to just completely turn off the sound effect and the colors for the stars are just not it for me. I feel like it really is the subtleties that help us go to sleep and not necessarily something that's too invasive. So I'm going to give this a rating of probably three on 10 for me. Now that we got done with a projector that is absolutely abysmal, Let's check out this Rosetta Galaxy projector. These again have been heavily advertised all over the internet with being absolutely phenomenal and really enticing to look at. And let's face it, looking at the stars and maybe even the universe or the galaxy definitely would incite sleep, at least for me. And with over 7,000 ratings, with a rating of 4.2 stars, this has got to be absolutely phenomenal. And I chose the modern one, which is around $55. And when we look at the pictures, it does show us quite a few dots and maybe a kind of aurora type effect on the ceiling. And we do see that it comes with a remote control, which is absolutely necessary, I think, when you have any kind of device. And then they have multicolor star projector. This is again, really beautiful to look 
look at, so I'm curious if it really does project beautifully. And then it comes with a speaker, which I guess is a bonus. You can add some kind of low hertz or high hertz or whatever hertz music that you want that apparently helps you fall asleep. Kitty Editor, can you let us know what apparently is the optimal hertz for sleeping? Education time with Kitty. <laughs> like this one includes music, white noise, brook, ocean waves, thunder. I like dinosaur. Dinosaur sounds. <laughs> you know what? This wins. That's it. That's it. We don't need anything else. There's dinosaur sounds in this one. So let's see what a $55 projector actually looks like. Let's get you opened up. Okay. Cards. Styrofoam. And the dinosaur egg projector. Look at all this stuff. My goodness. And let's see our dino egg project. Oh my goodness. So we have a dinosaur egg projector. I guess this is actually just the egg part, but we need, oh, what? I don't know what to expect. Is this supposed to be on or off when I'm using this? I'm not sure. We're gonna test it out anyways. We do have the stand it sits on. We have a cord and this one is a USB-C. And here is the controller, okay. Is it on? Are there batteries? They did not include batteries, you sons of biscuits. But I'm hoping this comes with a charge. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Are you on? Do I need to charge you? Maybe it doesn't come with a charge. Maybe it just needs to be plugged in all the time. You know what? This is actually a pretty long cord, so that's a good thing. Oh, okay, so this is this is now on. Are you good? Are, are you not good? Hello? Okay, I think this is good. Don't know what to do here. But let's change the light mode. Okay, this is supposed to change the color. We have white, green, blue, and then back to white. So let's see if we can do the stars. Do we have stars? I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I'm not getting any kind of stars. Oh, okay, it's on the ceiling. This is a little bit more complicated to use because we have to use a controller, I think. I'm seeing the stars though. I'm not sure, oh, okay. The stars are projecting from the side over here, I think, I'm not sure. And here's what it looks like on my ceiling in the bedroom and I have to say that the movement of the nebula is really nice and keeping the stars there is really nice. All right, be back in a few minutes and see how sleepy I be. A few minutes later. Okay, so I'm pretty tranced out, but I have to say I do like this. It is calming and if you can't sleep, you can count the stars, which is kind of nice. I like it. Now we're heading into consumables. Now, this is a little worrisome for me because it is something you're supposed to drink before going to bed. I don't usually like to take things to try to sleep, but this is called Dream Water. Now this has mixed reviews at 3.9 stars. Dream Water is supposed to be a sleep aid drink and the flavor is snoozeberry. Now I am not a medical professional. I will never tell you to take something unless you are sure that you are okay to take it. I am not giving any advice whatsoever. These are my reviews with my experiences. Do not attempt without any kind of professional professional advice, okay? I'm no professional. But according to this, this is good sleep and fast. As someone with insomnia, this is going to be really interesting to see how quickly I actually do fall asleep. And it's supposed to be a good travel solution. So here it has melatonin. Again, be careful because this is not supposed to be something that you take long-term because of the melatonin. It has GABA and 5-HTP. My biggest worry going into this is if it had any kind of valerian root, not to be confused with valerian steel. This is valerian steel. Because even though valerian root is supposed to help you fall asleep, I am one of the rare people, of course, that has the opposite effect. So it gives me sleeplessness and I stayed up all night once when I tried it. So yeah, no, no, not trying valerian root again. It has natural flavors, no added colors. Oh, okay, no sugar, no gluten. Okay, interesting, that's good. And for a five-star review, someone said it works, but like most vitamins and minerals, it will be different for each person. And a one-star review, GamerCod says, nightmare water. Wow, this is, I love the drama. So someone here said it gave them a migraine and made them feel awful. And when they woke up, they felt nauseous. That's interesting. So basically the box looks like this. It is pretty heavy because it is a liquid Liquid. And I guess you're supposed to drink one of these before bed. This is what I'm really curious about. It's a good fast sleep. So this is what it looks like. It looks very plain, acts like water, looks like water. Is there an expiration date? July. So without further delay, we're going to snap into nighttime and take this water. All right, so we're taking this. It says half an hour before sleep. So I'm gonna take it right now. I'm in bed, might as well, it's dark. It smells like blueberries. I mean, it's snoozeberry, but I don't know if you can hear it's making a fizzy sound, very crackly. 
Tastes like Gatorade, actually. Very sugary. Not sure I like something sugary at night, but bottoms up. Let's see what happens. Also, I realized I make that face <laughs> a lot. So we'll see if this is gonna work. In half an hour, if I'm gonna sleep deeper, is it gonna be a deep sleep? Am I gonna sleep like I've never slept before? I don't know. Do you know? Well, no. It's not been half an hour. Pat's already sleeping because he sleeps like a baby. Um, nothing for me yet. It usually takes me anywhere between an hour and hour and a half to fall asleep. So I guess I'll, I'll tune in in the morning. Tomorrow. Good morning. So the drink for me took a while to work and I can't say I slept more, but I think I slept deeper and I think that's the whole point. I'm not feeling too groggy this morning, so I'm gonna say for occasional use, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Weird, but okay. And now we have the Aroma Diffuser Rain Cloud Humidifier. Now, if any of you are like me, you absolutely love the sound of falling rain. It just brings some relaxation, especially thunderstorms when it's safe, of course. So when this was recommended to me by Amazon, it does have 4.2 stars at 238 ratings, so not that many ratings. And the price tag is pretty steep at around $60. Mind you though, this is a humidifier, so it serves as two purposes, to sleep and to humidify and aromatherapy. And it looks like yet again, we do get a controller, which is absolutely wonderful. Controller, remote, remote. I'm thinking too much gaming here. And the rain sounds apparently go on for 12 hours. I think that's just the capacity of it for a good for 12 hours. You can get heavy rain, light rain, or even no rain. And it's really cool the fact that we get raindrops coming from right underneath the mushroom. And we do have seven colors mood lights. I mean, it looks pretty cool so let's see how it actually is which means let's see what we get inside Okay, that's tinier than I expected. Now there is a bit of a contradiction when it comes to this machine. I went ahead and filled it up. The max line is basically a mug of water. So if you drink coffee or tea in a basic mug, it's basically one of those. But the contradiction I found is here it says aroma diffuser. Okay, pay attention to that. And yet on the listing on Amazon, let's go ahead and highlight that. It says do not use with essential oils. It is right there. Just do not use with essential oils. So what am I supposed to use for aroma? And Nowhere else do I see that we can actually have any kind of aroma or scent, so I'm kind of confused. I mean, it does say help for sleeping, but otherwise, where's the aroma coming from? Especially when you scroll down, you see that it's frequently bought together with more essential oil type products. This is aroma oils. I think someone needs to change the box because it's kind of false advertisement. Unless I'm misreading something, let me know in the comments. It does come with its own remote, but no batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and use the batteries that come in different boxes. And the wire that it comes with is a USB-C type with a USB. Again, none of these come with any kinds of plugs, so keep that in mind as well again. And I read the instructions and still no mention of being able to use any kind of aromatherapy. But now let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Hello? Okay, so it's starting. I guess it's still pulsating, but let's go ahead and hear if there's any kind of rain sound. I'm not sure if it's rain sound. It sounds more like an open faucet. Let's see if we can decrease the rain. Okay, so I've pressed the rain for less. Less. This sounds better. What happens when we put it more? This is the faster rain sound. And I'm gonna press the button now for the slower rain sound. And that is, that is almost inexistent. I don't hear it. It's either slow, which is almost in existence, or fast. And now we can have mist, which I don't see. Maybe all this is gonna look better in the darkness. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see what it looks like in the absolute dark. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm really in love with this. So let's go ahead and just change the colors. Here we have the red, green. I'm not sure who falls asleep to red. I feel like this is like an aggressive color. Blue is definitely it for me. I'm loving this. Here we have yellow kind of cute and we have oh my goodness like a sky blue that is really pretty the next one i think is purple i can't really see in this darkness yeah purple very pretty and you can hear it better now too and i do have the mist turned on and because it's dark you can see a little bit more of the mist around here i can even feel the mist coming out which is really really neat there you go see next to my hand let's super zoom in kitty editor right over here you can even have the colors rotate so here we have the red going into the purplish color i'm kind of curious where we're going we're going into a darker purple down to blue so this is really pretty and you can also turn the light just off there you go, you have the light off. And here I press the button for lower rain. I'm curious if that's just going to entirely close off. 
Yeah, so here you can see that it's just stopping entirely. Oh, you can't have mist? You can't have mist without rain. That's so weird. I don't see any mist. And I think if you want mist, you have to have rain. Now you can see the mist. Look at that. Starting back over here. All right, you can't see him. Pat's here. He came in. He said... It sounds more like a faucet than rain. You see, that's my opinion too. Would you fall asleep to this, Pat? I'm not sure also. Because for me, it's the same thing. It's like, I like the rain. Especially when it's raining outside and we have the window open. But this, it really is more like a faucet Yeah, for me. I agree. I probably wouldn't get this again. So yeah, again, for me, it just doesn't sound enough like rain. It just sounds like running water. And the fact that you can't have the humidifier on without the raindrops is a no-no. And then... A sleep mask headphone. This one has 14,000 reviews, so you know a lot of people have been testing this out at 4.1 stars, which means this is supposed to be a good product for sleep health. According to this, it's supposed to be a sleep headphones, Bluetooth headband, sleeping headphones, sleep mask. And I don't know why I see ice and mint at the bottom, but then the next picture shows us that there's Bluetooth, music, you can actually call, have a microphone, and it's adjustable. In two hours of charging, it'll last us 14 hours hours, which basically means two overnights, more or less. And you can dream in surround sound. Now, I don't know about you, but if something is playing in my ears overnight, my mind just gets stimulated and I can't fall asleep very easily. But apparently it blocks light, upgraded nose design, it's comfortable and fits all nose shapes, which is very nice. And it has six layers to make sure that you don't see any kind of light and it's adaptable. That's, that's all we're getting here. And it does cost $30, but currently there's a $6 coupon, which brings it at about $24. So let's see what comes in this box. Again, I'm not sure why there was an ice cube and a leaf or a mint leaf in there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is soft. That is really soft. And it's a Velcro. That's good. Very convenient for adjustment, but not convenient when you have longer hair because these things snag in your hair and it's not pleasant at least for me, because I have pretty thin hair. And then over here, we have the wire for charging. Now, I don't know where you're supposed to tuck this or if it's supposed to lay on your face, but it'll be interesting to see where it's supposed to go. We have three buttons over here. We have on. Okay, it comes with a charge. Let's see if we can get it on Bluetooth right away. And it looks like it's right here. So let's go ahead and connect to that. Or is it this one? No, I think it's this one. Music cozy. Let's try music cozy. Connected, excellent. That was actually really seamless. What else do we get in here? We have a little baggie that we can put it in, which is pretty neat. And then we have the charging wire, which is really short. So this is extremely inconvenient. Let's check this out. So it is a USB-C to USB, very, very short wire. So you have to bring it really close to your plug, but let's try this out. That is pretty dark, that is really dark, and it is really comfortable as well. One of the things I wish it had is that the bands in the back were actually flexible. They're not that flexible, so you have to make sure that they're not too tight and not too loose. But otherwise, I kind of like this. Let's see if I can hear the music, but I kind of have to do this first. <laughs> and I'm gonna go on YouTube and just select 528 Hertz Deep Healing Sleep Music. So let's see, <laughs> my eyes are all messed up. Of course, you have to play it with something that you can close your phone on. All right, let's listen to that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why do I have goosebumps? Okay, so I do hear the music. The good thing about this is I don't hear it in my ear. It's kind of just floating around. So I'm really curious how this is going to feel on a pillow, if it's relaxing, or if it feels like there's actually a piece of cloth in there that makes sleeping a little bit more difficult because I think that's going to be important. I realize you're watching me blindfolded and talking. Let's take this to bed. <laughs> All right, so here we go with the headband. I have to say, first impression is, I'm not sure how I feel. Oh yeah, there's definitely some lumpy bumpies around my ear. Not sure I like this at all. No, I don't like that. <laughs> so unfortunate, it really is annoying. It's not too bad on the pillow, but um, I definitely can't see myself fall asleep overnight with it. It's, it feels like it's pulling in the back of my head and I'm already feeling very anxious with it pulling the back of my head. I could make it looser, but it's already kind of slipping around. Mm, not for me. The next day. Good morning. Confirming this eye mask thing was just slippy slidey overnight all the time. For me, it's a no. Confirmed overnight. A huge thank you again to Two Dots for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So remember to check out the QR code over here for you, as well in the description box below and pinned comment. So my verdict on the sleep mask is I really wish I could have loved it because the fact that you don't have anything in your ears and it's just kind of around your ears is a great idea, but put it into practice on a pillow and it was kind of annoying. So unfortunately, not for me. So let me know which one of these nine products do you think you would like best? Personally for me, I find the Nebula stars was actually pretty relaxing. The weighted plushie was an absolute bonus. If you want to watch more weird product reviews, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little crafty and creative, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.